So the night that she disappeared that Sunday night, or the last night that you saw her, do you want to just take me through what you remember happening that night? She's going to go birdies for a party. She's taking the car. Do I want to come? Not, you want to go to the birdies for a party, but I'm going to go, and I'm taking the car. Uh, you, you can come if you, yeah, you want to come. No, I don't want to come. That was the weekend. I didn't like that at all. We were for a long time trying to make a movie. I was hired to make a feature length documentary. And we had like a very solid cut of a four hour ish movie. And it was really hard because the story is so fascinating that there were like a gajillion different ways that it could be told, you know? And, and I went through, I mean, that's the other thing. You, tr you end up trying just about everything. So we went through numerous, numerous things. And we had always told that story semi chronological. It was really hard to jump around in time. Like my original ideas about what it could be were very complex structurally. Oh, maybe we'll jump from that to that because that'll be really interesting and that'll really get you, get us inside his head. And, and then what you learn is you just, just start simplifying. It's just like nobody understands that at all. No, you know, just explaining the story took, uh, was a feat, you know. That was an argument. Was that argument just a verbal argument? No, that was a pushing, shoving argument. So it was a lot, and it, and it and it and what happened in the movie was really interesting. Is that it got juicier and juicier and juicier, it's, which on one level sounded like a really good thing. But the people we would show the film, and people would say, "Oh, it doesn't really pick up until, until like the cross dressing and the body chopping. Like that's when it really gets interesting." And I'm, you know, I, I, I could I could identify with that, I guess. But we had all this other stuff, which I became obsessed with this story, and I was super fascinated with every little detail of his life and I mean one of the things I love about crime is that like when something when somebody does something terrible every detail in their life becomes really important and I don't think there's many other examples of that and so to me like his childhood was fascinating with the context of what he would go on to do so that started to like mess with our whole idea of that this show, sh that this thing should be chronological. Also, nobody's going to watch a four-hour movie, so we were trying to started trying to pull it down, which is like a process that you go through. You always have something long, and it's always hard, and you always start to cut it down. But usually, it gets better. Like this didn't get better; it got worse. So now we're like years in, and it's not even really good, you know. So that, talk about like losing the confidence of the director, you know. <laughs> We'd watch this guy and we're like, well, we know the story's good. We know we've got the guy telling it really well. Like, what's the problem? And at the same time, we were watching a lot of, you know, the miniseries over the past four years, which we were working on. Seeing how they were like unspooling this information super slowly was really inspirational. And we, we didn't really know what else to try and we decided, um, to, to cut like what would be like a pilot, what would be like a first episode if this was gonna be a longer thing, what would that look like? Um, and we, we cut basically episode one and it came together so much easier and faster and it was like, oh, that's the show, like, oh, that's this thing, like whatever that is, the tone of it is right, the, the pace of it is right.